Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Epoxy and here in this video I'll be showing you how to change your FOV, disable mouse acceleration and all that fun stuff all here in this one video and it's going to be a permanent fix. You will not have to make these changes again unless of course you uninstall your game and reinstall it. So anyways before we jump into this I want to make sure that you do indeed back up your saves before doing this. It's not that there's anything to worry about, it's just that whenever you make a change to your game that's unofficial such as adding mods or anything like that you always want to make sure to back up your saves as it is something unofficial and you don't know what it's truly doing to your game in the long run. In the long run it may end up messing up your saves but that's completely unknown. I've been using this tool since it was released quite some time ago back on the 11th literally the day after Fallout 4 came out so from what I know it's perfectly safe and I've been using it since then so you should be able to use it without a problem but I'm just suggesting please do back up your saves just in case anything is to happen. So now that we have that out of the way, we can go ahead and hop into how to download this, how to install it, and get it working. So anyways, let's go ahead and go to the link down in the description below, and it will bring you to this page right here, the Fallout 4 Configuration Tool by Belago. Once you're on this page, you can see all the different features and everything. We can see a frequently asked question, so if you're having any problems or anything like that, please go ahead and check this. But let's go ahead and just jump right into how to download it and how to install it. So anyways, let's click on the files tab here and click on the main file here. We don't want to download an old version because those have things that have been removed that aren't suggested to use. So let's go ahead and download the most recent one. We want to download it manually because it is an executable file. It is not a actual mod, so you don't want to download it with a manager. So go ahead and click download manually, and then we can go ahead and actually save it. I've already actually downloaded this, but I will go ahead and replace it because I'm showing you how to install it. Once it's downloaded, let's go ahead and show it in the folder. And we either want to extract it with 7-zip or WinRAR, whatever you have is fine, and extract it to a separate folder and we'll put it in that folder and we will see follow for config tool.exe. If you don't see .exe, that's totally fine. It just means that Windows is hiding your extensions for everything. So anyways, let's go ahead and copy this over into our follow for directory. Now, if you don't know where your directory is, it should be located within this PC or computer, depending on what operating system you have, it may be named differently. Local disk C, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and Fallout 4. And you should see the Fallout 4 executable files here, the Fallout 4 launcher and the Fallout 4. Go ahead and just drag the Fallout 4 config tool within this directory. Once you've done that, we can now close that out and we can close that out and we can go ahead and make this full screen. And if you wanna make every single change that this offers, you'll wanna run this as an administrator. But if you don't really care about some of the more advanced features, I suggest just running it normally. And we will see quite a few different things that we can change within Follow 4. But in this video, I'll just be covering the field of view and also the mouse acceleration as those are the two main things that people really care about. If you want me to go into further depth of this tool, let me know. There is quite a bit that you can change, but I just want to keep it to what people truly have asked me for and that's the FOV and also the mouse acceleration. Now I've already made a video on the mouse acceleration, but I decided I would just go ahead and show it to you here once again in this video. So anyways, we can see that we can just go ahead and enable or disable mouse acceleration. When it's dark like this, that means it's disabled. When it's bright blue like that, that means it's enabled. So make sure to disable that if you don't like mouse acceleration, which I'm pretty sure most PC players dislike. And then for field of view, this should by default be something like 70, but I personally like playing games around 100 to 110, sometimes lower at 90. It's totally up to personal preference. I suggest playing around with this if you're not used to changing around your FOV, but I personally like 100 or 110. That's usually the numbers that I stick around. So I personally keep mine at 100. And then also the other thing that I mentioned is being able to disable the intro video. So once you've made all the changes that you want to do, whether it be tweaks, performance, UI, gameplay, or settings, make sure to click save. It will save all your settings and then you can go ahead and reload and it will reload it and there you go. You can go ahead and click play game or you can actually just close this and launch up your game from either the executable, Nexus Mod Manager, or Steam, it doesn't really matter, and it will save all your settings that you changed and you can go ahead and open this up and change whatever settings whenever you want 
If you don't like the FOV that you kept, you can go ahead and change it here. You can keep this open or you can keep it closed. It doesn't matter because it's changing the settings in your any settings and it will keep everything there permanently. You will not have to go into the console every time and change it. So anyways, that's actually it. It's pretty simple to actually change your FOV and such with this tool. It's very easy and that is why I suggest using this tool. I've been using it, like I said, since the game's release. So I've had a lot of experience with this tool. I truly trust this tool as it has not given me a single problem with now 87 hours in Fallout 4, so I think I'm pretty sure it's 100% safe. There may be, you know, small conflicts here and there. There may be save issues here and there. That is why I suggest keeping your saves backed up. So anyways, that's actually it for this video. Hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight. It would be super greatly appreciated. But until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off.